Munchie segment every Thursday here on Off the Bench. Executive Chef Michael Johnson from LSU stops by and gives us some uh, COVID recommendations for the kitchen, actually answering any of your cooking questions that you might have. Uh, good morning, Chef. How are you? I'm well, fellas. Pleasure to be here. Absolutely. Uh, watching this exclusive Michael Jordan interview right now on Good Morning America about the last dance, the docu-series that's going to uh, – it's going to launch this Sunday night. Chef, you strike me as somebody that was a big Bulls Michael Jordan fan in the early 90s. You looking forward to this one? Yeah, I am. He's, he's, he was an exciting guy to watch and still still uh, somebody I respect a lot, you know. Um, the Get Healthy Challenge is happening right now, uh, Chef. A lot of people are uh, are looking for ways to stay uh, to stay active, to stay healthy, to stay uh, engaged during this uh, this this quarantine. Um, when they get healthy challenge, uh, what, what do you make of this one? So the, the dietitians and I dreamed this up and it was just a way for, uh, one for, uh, I, I decided that I needed to keep myself healthy and mm-hmm. started running and in doing so we, we reached out and called out any of the athletes that, uh, that we work with and, and, uh, challenged them to send it, send in something, a video or something of them eating something new or eating something healthy or doing something healthy in their lives. And, uh, you know, we're just trying to motivate everybody to stay healthy and do the right thing, and and um, you know it's it's we've got time to reflect right now, so uh, we're just trying to keep everybody ha- happy and healthy. How do they? Uh, how do people get involved? Uh, you know, really, they just uh, take a take a, a shot or a video of themselves doing something healthy, eating something healthy, or cooking a dish that 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 uh, is healthy, and and post it and uh, hashtag Stay Healthy Challenge and. Uh, they can tag me in it if they want, or uh, LSU Nutrition. But uh, you know, it's it's just a matter of putting it on social media so that everybody can see that we're all doing our part. All right, let's go to dive into our munchies questions. If you want to get yours in, I will continue to monitor the huddle. Uh, just use the hashtag munchies. Um, this comes from Nookie in the huddle, Chef Michael Johnson. Best hangover breakfast. Oh goodness! I think bacon is <laughs> bacon and eggs. You know, uh, I like Weibo's Rancheros as well with Oof. a little spicy sauce on it. Yeah. Now you're talking my language, man. Um, what's the best way to make those, Chef? Weibo's Rancheros. Say that again. Best way to cook the uh... the Weibo's Rancheros. Uh, you know, you got to cook them on like a, a low medium heat, not too hot. Um, and 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 you know, a lot of people overcook their eggs, and if you cook your eggs to the point where they start releasing water. You take them too far, so the, one of the points is is that you you pull the eggs while they still look like they're wet, and you let them finish in the plate. Nothing worse than a dry, crumbly egg. Uh, Ruan wants to know, Chef, can I boil a lobster the same way as crawfish? Yeah, you just uh, you don't boil it. You know, like I said last time, you, you simmer it at a lower temperature, and it takes takes a little bit longer. Um, yeah, absolutely. Uh, hashtag munchies. Why do Hawaiians put cracked black pepper on fresh pineapple? You know, I don't know. That that's weird, but uh, I Thank like you. fresh cracked black pepper myself, and and uh, I, I I don't I don't know. Uh, ha- hashtag munchies for the chef. Easy meal to cook a de- uh, cook for a date to get her from the dining room uh, back to the house. Well, pasta is always a winner there. You know, I love pasta, and uh, it, it's kind of <laughs> hard to screw pasta up. I think most people do like pasta, especially if you can make your own pasta. You know, I mean that that shows attention to detail and that you're putting oh. yourself into it. I've been I've been uh, I've been toying with the idea during this quarantine. You might have just inspired me to get into the pasta making game. Um, Sam, I'm assuming this is you, Sammy Flavors, in the document here. Yes, no. Anyway, it says what is the best way to fry an egg on the stove? I always frick it up. Uh, you know, I, I I like to use butter, and uh, when you're when you're frying your egg, you tilt the pan so that you can capture some of the oil or the fat with a spoon, and then ladle it over the top. Whoa! And, you know, do it do it do it nice and low and easy. Yeah. Ooh, come on now, chef. I never even thought about that. I got something to try when I go home for breakfast today. Uh, <laughs> chef hashtag munchies favorite international cuisine wet market. Uh, you know, I, I, I kind of favor Viet, Vietnamese food, Thai food, something like that nice. over over uh, that that area. I like the spice and I like the peppers that come from that area. Um, but I, I, I don't know. I, I like I like the, the fusion that they bring to it. Hashtag Munchies Chef. What is the best way to grill a pizza on a big green egg? And your dough recipe. 
Uh, you know, I, I like a, uh, like a stone over a grill. So there's something that you could put over a grill, bring it up, but you have to bring it up slow so it doesn't crack. But, um, you can buy, you can buy stones for the green eggs. I guess yep. you can do it over the flame too. Some people like the flame. It's, a, it's, it's, it's really easy to screw it up. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, yeah. uh, 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 uh and again, kind of a similar uh, deal here is you got to keep the keep the heat a little bit lower so that the flames don't flare. Um, and, Chef, uh, go ahead, go ahead. Yep. Um, this is one maybe for uh, this may be tough to, to to answer, but what do you foresee the biggest change in restaurants one once the public is, is reopened and and restaurants are allowing uh, visitors to sit down? Goodness, that's a good question. I mean. One is I, I I do feel like restaurants are gonna are going to uh, re- return. I don't know if there will be as many restaurants because uh, um, you know I, I don't know if I don't know how how soon COVID's going to go away, but it will alter them. I can promise you that. Maybe maybe fewer seats in there and uh, yeah. uh, more spacing. But uh, I don't know. It'll be interesting to see. Uh, Larry Plank, it is his birthday, chef, and he wants to know what is your favorite Waffle House order. Uh. <laughs> My son and I both like the same thing. We go in there and get that hash brown bowl with eggs and everything mm-hmm. on it, and even put the chili on top. So, right. yeah. yeah, maybe, maybe try a little bacon Texas cheesesteak double plate, smothered covered waffle on the side, throwing a vanilla coke on top. Uh, <laughs> you, you ever ordered that before? <laughs> I mean, uh, this a hash, times. <laughs> hashtag munchies for the chef. Top vegetarian healthy dish. Um, just you know, I, I like simple things like grilled vegetables. I, like aspiration or uh, broccoli or whatever you call it. Mm, yes. I like, to, I like to take that and uh, put it on the grill and char it a little bit and then squeeze a little orange juice and butter over the top over it. Oh. Uh, a follow-up to that one. Do you add sugar to you uh, or do you prefer a sweet red sauce or a non-sweet red sauce? Uh, no respectable Italian has ever put sugar in the red sauce, I promise you. And you know and you know, it's sad. I, I am a firm sweet red sauce guy. Is it my Junos or somewhere around here? I buy it from the store. Uh, I buy it from the grocery store. I, it's, it's sweet. It just mm. tastes so much better. Mm. I mean, I don't know. You know, what I, have, I have put balsamic. Don't say anything in more. My, yeah. You have put what? Uh, like balsamic, aged balsamic vinegar in it. Okay. That'll, that can sweeten it up a little bit without sugar. I just, I'm not a big sugar fan. Okay, chef. I've been doing a lot of sourdough bread just with some olive oil and balsamic. Is there anything else that you would uh, tack on the top there to spice it up? Parmesan. No. Little tur- yeah, I was gonna say a little kosher salt and parmesan wouldn't go too bad at all, or pecorino Ooh. romano. Mm. 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 Welcome. Um, we had uh, we had Joe Burrow in earlier this week uh, about a thirty minute conversation with the Heisman Trophy winner chef. Uh, a, a listener wants to know uh, Burrow's favorite meal and Burrow's least favorite meal. You know, I just talked to Jim uh, Jimmy Burrow, Joe's dad, the other day to check oh. on him, make sure everybody was doing all right, and uh, they were he was telling me about how much Joe eats and it cracked me up. Joe, uh, Joe likes simple things. I think he's the steak and steak and potato kind of guy. You know, Midwestern stuff. Yeah, exactly. Very Midwest. Um, chef, Twinkies or Ding Dongs? Oh man, that's a tough one. Can we have both? <laughs> you can only choose one. It's like the Highlander. There can guess, only be one. I guess Ding Dong. I like chocolate. Yeah. Yeah, I agree with you. Um, chef, right now, uh, obviously, your industry is one that is very much affected by uh, by the COVID nineteen and um, people not being able to get to restaurants, get to their favorite food spots. Is there any way that the public who may be listening to this can help out uh, chefs, people that are in that industry right now while uh, while the downtime is occurring? You know, there are some places that you can donate to. Um, um, I. I can't name one off the top of my head, to be honest with you, but there are some places that you can go to and make donations. And uh, uh, I I would just say be prepared to support them when we get back open and running because there's a lot of people's lives that are at stake when it comes to the restaurant business. A lot of people that live dollar to dollar and paycheck to paycheck. And, you know, we we need to support that for sure. Chef, if you find that information out before we get off the air at 9 o'clock, send it over and we'll make sure and add it to the... um to the social media posts from your from your your conversation this morning. I absolutely will. You got it. Chef, we always appreciate the conversation and the time. Stay safe and we'll talk to you next week. Take care, guys. Thank got you, it. Chef. Take care. There he is, Chef Michael Johnson checking in from LSU just like he does every week with your munchies questions and answers.